Hello, everyone. Welcome to this day. We hope you had a happy Thanksgiving and a lovely weekend. It is Monday, and it is the last day of November, November 30th. We have one meeting to tell you about today. We have the GRF Landscape Committee meeting, and that will be at 1.30 p.m., and that is virtual, and you can follow along at lagunawoodsvillage.com forward slash meetings. Now, on our show today, we are going to be visited by Jeff Parker, who has Laguna Woods update, and he's got some good information for you. And then I am going to show you how to use one Christmas tree and decorate it five different ways. So we'll have a couple of fun ideas there for your Christmas tree. If you've already gotten it, or if you haven't gotten it, you can plan to do it a variety of different ways. Okay, let's go ahead and give you our COVID-19 resources for you. We have covid19.ca.gov where you can follow along with the governor's plans. You can go to ochealthinfo.com where you can get all of your COVID numbers by city or zip code. And then they have a hotline, hotline 714-834-2000. You could go to our website, which is lagunawoodsvillagealerts.com, and you can find out all the local information there. And you can email us at info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. Now, the weather this weekend was lovely, and it was a little chilly this morning, but we are looking at a very nice warm day today of a high of 75 with an overnight of 51. Again, warm tomorrow, 76, 52. Lots of sunshine, 74, 54. Thursday, still again, really nice, 72.48. And then by the weekend, we are going to 73.46. So lots of sunshine this week, not too many clouds, and maybe a few high clouds floating around there. Now, our sunrise this morning was at 6.37, and I took this photo this morning as I was waking up. I thought the clouds looked like cotton candy, so I just had to take a picture. And our sunset today will be at 4.43, super early. Now, uh, when we come back, we will have Jeff Parker, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Robert with Laguna Premier. As we all face the disruptions of the COVID-19 pandemic, our first priority is the health of our clients, employees, and community. Hi, I'm Claire. We are adapting, working together like never before. I'm confident we will provide the same high level of service our clients have come to expect. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Many people are still selling and buying homes in Laguna Woods. As a leading real estate firm in Laguna Woods, we are open and here for you. It's important for you to get your financial house in order. And so it breaks my heart sometimes when I see widows that come in with $100,000, $200,000 to their name, and yet their broker has lost two or $300,000 in the market when they shouldn't even have been in the market. The most satisfying part that I find in working with retirees is when they come in on their annual reviews and the market has had a, a bad turn, and we know that we can sit down and look at them and say, you haven't lost any money. People with hearing loss only know the way they hear, not how much better they should be hearing. How well are you hearing? Are you understanding 60% or maybe only 30%? You don't know unless someone measures your hearing understanding ability. People are wearing hearing aids that are underfit with power, not programmed properly, the physical fit is too loose or too tight. Find out what your understanding score is with a special word test from Advanced Ear Care. Stop in today and tell them Stuart sent you. At Harvard Eye, we are so happy to be open again and to see all of you for your medical and surgical eye care. We're taking great care to protect everyone from COVID-19 by seeing fewer patients, spacing out chairs in our lobby, sanitizing our office constantly, and doing much more. The world is changing a lot, but what hasn't changed is we're honored by your trust and confidence, and we're committed to keeping you safe. We can't wait to see you. Well, as I mentioned, we have Jeff Parker here, and he's got some numbers to go over with us. Hi, happy hey, good Thanksgiving morning. after. <laughs> That's right. Good morning to you. <laughs> so you've got some numbers for us, which, you know, I think a lot of people are on alert, waiting to see kind of what's 
going to happen now that we've had Thanksgiving. I think people scaled way back. I know we sure did. We only had two folks. You said you right. had a very, very small one. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks, but let's uh, go and, ahead and talk and about And that's numbers. really what we're going to see. It's about a two-week time frame before right. you see what happened on Thanksgiving and what it starts to show up. And mm -hmm. um, the concern that everybody had is that the numbers were elevating pretty quickly last week and the week before. And, right. and unfortunately, um, if you look at the numbers that came out of Sunday, um, we hit over a thousand cases. Um, Thanksgiving Day and the day after we were over a thousand cases. So um, a lot of people are getting tested. That's good right. news in the sense and that's obviously going to help um, elevate the number of cases um, that are positive mm -hmm. um, in the sense that we know that it's out there and we know the virus impact. Good news, no uh, any additional reported deaths. Um, yesterday there were about four over the weekend Oh, okay. Um, that were reported. Um, the probably the important thing that we always talk about is the number of hospitalizations. Right. Now we're up to almost 600 hospitalizations, so that's a mm -hmm. big jump in mm -hmm. numbers. And the ICU is 148. What they're really concerned about is if we do see a jump because of Thanksgiving activity in the next couple of weeks, what's going to be the impact to that hospitalization? Because well, right. it's it's not just people in the hospital, all those numbers are high, it's the hospital workers. And when we get that higher total, we start to impact the amount of workers that we can and who, mm -hmm. and they get it too. Right. Um, and so that's, um, as you can see in that case per 100,000, we're up to 18.7, and that's a big jump Holy versus smokes. the 10 that we were at. Yeah, so we're almost doubling is. The, the rate per 100,000 right. that we're seeing that in um, Orange County. And the positivity rate way up at 7.6. Mm. All of those, if you remember, when we were talking about the positive news back in October, we thought it was going down. Right. Um, and then it took a big swing and has gone up the other way. Right. So again, um, the mass, the social distancing, it's very difficult in this time period of wanting to be around family and everything. And I, hopefully people were able to Zoom, talk to people yeah. on the phone, do everything you could to lower the group numbers. Uh, that's the only the safe way to do it. So exactly. we'll be watching these numbers um, quite a bit in the next couple of weeks to watch okay. that. The other thing that I've been working on started last week and just wanted to mention is that in, um, in, in October, the CDC uh, sent out some guidelines and Orange County Health Department has started to organize a task force. And that task force is with regards to the vaccine. Okay. So we have two vaccines that are kind of vying for who's going to be first out there, but there's right. three or four in all reality that um, look promising from the... So this, uh, this task force for Orange County is going to take the CDC guidelines and then implement how the vaccine gets distributed. Okay. And so the critical element for this task force is to come up with protocols and be ready to go once this vaccine is ready to be distributed to the point where Orange County can get a, its fair share of the distribution. Right. I just want to mention right now the task force has identified kind of what I'll call phase one and phase 1A or phase 1A and 1B. Mm -hmm. And that is um, the first vaccines, because um, they're going to be in limited resources at first, right. but we'll go to you know doctors and nurses, um, first responders, those type of people will get the first vaccine mm -hmm. um, if they choose to take it and will take it. The second one is the category that we're focused on, which is really um, 65 and older at risk. Um, that group, certainly a lot of people in our community are 65 and older, so that puts them in that group. So. Mm -hmm. We've contacted the task force and say, hey, don't forget Laguna Woods. They, when I talked to their, the PIO for the um, Orange County Health who's in, involved with this directly, she says, we're well aware of um, <laughs> Laguna Woods and, and, and Seal Beach. And, sure. and, and, and it's also the nursing homes and, and the assisted livings. The, those facilities, as long as uh, ours, because we have such a big population number, um, they, they understand that with regards to being kind of the first group that sees the vaccine being available. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll keep you posted on that. Um, whether or not there's a way in which we can have a special clinic here or not, I don't think that's been decided, but we certainly want to work with the hospital, um, Saddleback, and 
the Orange County Health to do the right. best we can to make sure we can streamline it here for our residents. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, that'll be really nice if you guys can pull that off. That'd be good. Did the numbers go up in Laguna Woods at all, or did it stay yeah, about they, the same? Yeah, they did. They're now up to 104 cases, and we're in the 90s, if you recall, and, but, and one more death, so we're at 10 deaths, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the 104 is a pretty good jump. In uh, We were in the 90s, in around 90, and then we went to 92, and then jumped up to right. 104 so right. um, again for everybody this is um, the community of Laguna Woods it's yes. not just us um, but um, just the odds that there are some here um, is a practical way to look at it right. um, and so we should do our best to again follow the rules be careful out there exactly now I did want to go back to talk to you a little bit about that vaccine again if someone wanted to know more information or follow along with what the plan is, is there a website for them to go to? Yeah, if they go on the Orange County Health um, website where they get the coronavirus information, which you put up on the board all the time, mm -hmm. they can then go up to the search engine. Um, there's a search page up at the top. Okay. And then all they have to do is put in task force or vaccine. And then okay. if once they do that, a, a list of all of the um, vaccine task force activities Okay. And even the membership, so you can find out who's on that membership. And if you know anybody on that, you can certainly contact them. And there is a specific email for contacting them, um, the organization, the task force itself. So you can say, hey, here we are. They also did a survey. Now, we weren't directly involved with the survey, but some of our residents may have been about the vaccine and how it should be distributed. So they're using that information, too. Okay. Well, good. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see you know, how they do it. Maybe they can do it like they do the flu vaccinations where it's a drive-through kind of a thing. Wouldn't that be great? That would be great. I mean, and I'm we could, sure. We would try to help facilitate something here in the village. That would be awesome. Okay, well, good. Well, we'll keep, uh, keep us informed on how that progresses, and we'll see you again here on Friday. I will do. Thank All right, you. thanks. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to tell you how you can use your Christmas tree in five different ways for decoration. So stay tuned. I'm gonna do it today. What? All of it. This is your time. You're ready for what's next. And what's next doesn't include compromise. Don't you have a doctor's appointment? Yeah. Introducing Ava, a new Medicare Advantage plan from Alignment Health Plan that gives you access to a primary care doctor and specialist from the comfort of your own home with 24 hours a day, seven days a week concierge service. Benefits include no monthly premium, dental, vision, and a $0 copay to see a doctor with low out-of-pocket costs, full drug coverage, pet care, and more. Plus over-the-counter dollars and a Part B premium give back of $50 per month. It's the plan built for your time. What next? Well... That novel ain't gonna write itself. Those who are Medicare eligible can call us at 866-628-9431 for more information and your free no obligation gift. Have you been struggling with swelling, aching legs, and varicose veins that keep you from being as active as you once were? Using the latest and advanced techniques such as Venus Seal, Golden Coast Dermatology Skin Cancer and Vein Center offers minimally invasive treatment with better outcomes and quicker recovery times. Dr. Tidwell is an expert in vein care and can help you get back to having healthier and active legs. Golden Coast Dermatology. Call today to schedule your appointment and get back on your feet. As a professional licensed realtor, you have worked countless hours to ensure your reputation is the best. Your clients know they can trust your judgment, that you'll be around when they need you, and that you will deliver what you promise. In escrow, one company has set that same standard for excellence. Escrow Options Group offers more than just outstanding escrow services. White glove concierge services, wire and fraud protection, custom estimates, and more at no extra charge. Choose the company that mirrors your professionalism. Escrow Options Group. Experience a better option of escrow. Services. As Orange County's highest ranked hospital, Hogue is the place to turn to for timely information, reassurance, and care in these uncertain times. Our dedicated physicians, nurses, and staff stand ready to safely deliver world-class care just as we have for nearly 70 years. This is what we do. We are here for you and we will overcome this together. To access Hogue for all of your healthcare needs, 
Visit hogue.org slash trust. Welcome back. Well, many of you may have gone down that path of getting your Christmas tree this last weekend. Uh, but if not, no worries. You can just take this information in and decide on what you'd like to do. So I thought I would tell you uh, five different ways that you can decorate your Christmas tree. So the first one is you can have an edible Christmas tree. Of course, if you have animals, that might be a little tempting for them to jump on the tree and eat it. But you could uh, do uh, embroidery floss to thread the cranberries or freshly popped popcorn. Or you could use dried fruit, such as oranges, and you can hang them as ornaments. So that's kind of a nice idea. Then you can do a floral one where you could take lots of different silk flowers, or of course you could do fresh flowers, but then you'd have to rotate them out. But Silk flowers might be a nice way to go. And this is done, lots of people do this with poinsettias. You can just kind of plop them around and give them some color. But this one obviously is a little bit different where you have roses and you have lots of different kinds of flowers. And they suggest that you cut the flower stems to be about five inches long and stick the flower stem right into the tree towards the trunk. And then they can stick out that way. So that's a pretty idea. Now, of course, you could go modern, black and white where you could have geometric designs into solid white ornaments. Now you could draw these on there with a Sharpie and you could even do polka dots, stripes, or hearts. And then you can use black and white, white ribbon as an easy way to add different types of personality and texture into the tree. Some people take the ribbon, it goes from the very top of the tree all the way down and that gives it a real pretty look as well. Now you could decorate your tree in a colorful fashion where you use a variety of different layers of, um, of ribbon here. Now you can use ribbon or you could even use that crepe paper that people use for birthday parties. And of course you can decorate it from either the top, like I mentioned, to the bottom of the tree or you can wrap it around uh, the tree branches. So either way it's going to look really pretty. Now the last one we have is you choose a single color and it's going to be one hue, basically, not a single color, but one hue of color. So all blues, different colors of blues, all greens, all reds, whatever you'd like to do. And you can do like from top to the bottom where you go from light to dark or dark to light, whatever you'd like. And then of course you can finish it off with some ribbon. So it's a really nice, you know, a few ideas for you. If you have an idea, please email it to us. We'd love to see what you do at Christmas time. We'll start that tomorrow. And uh, you can email those photos to Laguna Woods Village TV at gmail.com. We'd love to see what you guys do. All right, stay tuned. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll have the movie for today. Today, we are marking the beginning of a new era as City of Hope opens its first location right here in Newport Beach. We have 500 scientists and doctors who have dedicated their lives to beating cancer. So they use that intellectual capital to try to make sure every patient gets the best care possible that's known to science. Silver and gold. Consider, Consider it sold. The jewelry box of Lake Forest will buy your gold, diamonds, fine watches, coins, and sterling service wear, regardless of condition. With metals at an all-time high, now is the time to sell. Visit us in person or shop online from the comfort of home. Silver and gold. Consider it sold. At the jewelry box, it's about trust. How are you making the most of your life, and do you apply that same devotion to planning your financial future? A train off its tracks goes nowhere. Having a financial plan that is consistent with your lifestyle will keep you on track through your retirement years. Align Wealth Advisors specializes in creating a financial strategy that best fits your needs and your lifestyle, now and in the future. Align Wealth Advisors. Life. Wealth. Balance. South County Lexus, we really are different. 
We're California's exclusive Lexus Plus dealer. Lexus Plus is a new way of doing business. At a Lexus Plus dealer, you can expect an upfront, negotiation-free, hassle-free price right on the vehicle. The same price you'll find on our website all the way through the transaction. South County Lexus, we feel this is the way of the future, and this is the way the customer prefers to do business. South County Lexus, your exclusive Lexus Plus dealer. Different, just like you. Hello, Laguna Woods. I would like to invite you to watch our new television show called Inspiration for Today. It's on every weekday morning right here on Channel 6 at 7.30 a.m. Saddleback Church of Laguna Woods hopes to start your day with encouraging stories, inspirational music, and lots of laughs, too. Remember, Saddleback Church meets weekly in Clubhouse 5 at 9 and 11. We would love to serve you a free breakfast and have you join with us for worship. We've got La Bamba for you today, a very fun and musical movie for you to check out. And that'll be at 2 and 7 p.m. today. And that is sponsored by Harvard Eye Associates. So you guys can check that out today, 2 o'clock with subtitles and then 7 p.m. without subtitles. Okay, tomorrow, December 1st, there is a forum that is going to be happening. And it would be really great for you to tune in you could go on to mentalhealthforum.eventbrite.com. There is no charge for this, but they do want you to sign up there so they can provide you the link that is necessary to be able to participate. Now, this is a mental health and aging forum. Perfect timing because, you know, a lot of people have been impacted by you know, staying at home and being isolated, and it just might be nice to sort of follow along and find out what others might be doing to help themselves not feel like that. So check that out, and like I said, you need to go to mentalhealthforum.eventbrite.com, and that's tomorrow from 9.30 in the morning till 12. Uh, another fun thing that you can do that will be happening on December 5th, that's this week, is you can do live cooking class alongside a popular chef of Sapphire Culinary Group. And it will be a single dinner is 75 and a dinner for two people is 150. And what you do is you sign up, they're gonna send you all of the food and ingredients that you will need to follow along in your kitchen with the chef. And it, it may sound like something really different to do, but you know, why not? Get your tickets at myagewell.org for you to be able to participate. Deck your cart with lots of jollies. So they are going to have a parade this Saturday, the 5th at 2 p.m. Just like Halloween, they want you to decorate your carts to be festive and fun any way you see fit for the holidays. And of course, you can always decorate your home and your lawns along the path route of the, of the parade. Now, you could even feature the servicemen and servicewomen. You could feature Santa. You can feature all sorts of different things that pertain to our holidays during this time. Now, you do need to register to participate. So you're going to go to um, amenities, recreation, and then you click on the active net, and that'll bring you to the registration uh, sign up. There's no fee for it. Uh, or you could call 949 597 4273 for more information. Now, something fun that's going to be happening the following weekends is December 13th. There is going to be Jazz at the Drive-In. Super fun group, the Woods Combo, uh, are going to be performing from 2 to 4 p.m. So just like last time, you guys are going to pull up in your car. You could either stay in your car or you could get out and sit beside your car uh, in some chairs. And you could bring your picnics or whatever you'd like to do. The Clubhouse 5 parking lot will open at 1 p.m. Tickets for this resident-only event uh, did, has been on sale since November 23rd, so I would suggest you get your tickets as soon as possible because they will run out of space. Uh, you can go to ActiveNet, and it's $5 per vehicle or per golf cart. Uh, and if you want more information, you can call Recreation at 949-597-4273 or recreation at vmsinc.org. Now, just a reminder, since we are holding all fitness classes outside, 
That is a much better way to go right now. However, you do still need to wear your mask. And I know it's very difficult to exercise with the mask. So in my opinion, I would choose the ones that are the medical grade ones because you can get a lot of breathing in those instead of the cloth ones because those cloth ones are very restricted. Uh, but just keep in mind that they would like you to, they are requiring you to wear the mask at all times. The facility capacity is increased to 15 residents, but that's only 15 residents. Now, if you have any questions or concerns regarding this, you can call 949-597-4273 or send an email to recreation at vmsinc.org. Org. So there's lots of good information for you. And then just to reiterate, I'll go ahead and give you the COVID number uh, websites again, just so you can have those handy so you can look up what Jeff had mentioned. You can go to covid19.ca.gov and in the search area, you can type in task force or vaccine and that'll give you additional information regarding what he was speaking about. And then of course, you can always go to the other two areas where you can go to the hotline or you can go to ochealthinfo.com. Okay, let's take a look at our weather one last time. Lovely, lovely week. I just can't complain. We have some of the best weather in all of the country, and this is why we live here. Beautiful weather today, 75-51. Tomorrow, 76-52. Wednesday, 74-54 with lots of sunshine. Pleasant Thursday, 72-48, and Friday, 73-46. So we are looking at some very lovely temperatures this week with lots of sunshine, so try and get outside as much as you can because that sunshine will make you feel better. All right, if you want to watch our program again, you can watch it at 12.30 and 5 o'clock today, or you can wait and tune in again tomorrow at 9 a.m. where we'll be right here welcoming you. Have a wonderful day today. Happy Monday. Stay healthy. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. the trend from Irvine Clinical Research. I hope that during this pandemic that you're doing well and keeping safe. During these times, I want to let you know that we're still offering memory testing at no cost through healthy brain consultations. If you or your loved ones have concerns with memory loss, you don't need to leave your home to chat with me. We're offering these consultations online. Call us at 753-1663 to schedule your healthy brain consultation video chat. Thank you so much and take care. Hi, I'm April, owner of Glitterbug Gold Buyers, your gold buying specialist. We educate, guide, and protect you when selling your gold. How do you know if you're getting the highest payout? At Glitterbug, we provide education so you know you're getting the best deal. We make sure that our customers have an excellent experience, and that's why Glitterbug has a perfect five-star reputation online. Give us a call to find out about our mobile service, or just stop by our office. No appointment necessary. We look forward to meeting you. Did you know there are over 400,000 seniors in Orange County today? So where does a senior or family caregiver go for information and resources? You can turn to the Answers Guide, published by the Council on Aging Southern California. Answers is full of articles and resources to help you navigate the aging experience. You can pick up your free copy today at the clubhouse nearest you or at the Social Services Office. The Council on Aging, helping seniors remain healthy, connected, and protected. To help stop the coronavirus, the CDC recommends to avoid contact with people who are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Stay home when you are sick, except to get medical care. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. For more information, contact the CDC. A message from Village Management Services. Thank <laughs> you.